Netgear GS 724T version 3. So this is a, a nice cheap switch that I got off eBay and got an absolute bargain. Um, I got it for about 20% of its RRP, it's about 6 months old and it's an upgrade for an old 5 port gigabit switch that I've had for a while. So, the reason it's cheap is, I don't know if you can hear it, is because it makes a bloody terrible noise. And the culprit here is this little 40mm fan which is spinning at some ungodly speed. And it's making an absolute racket. So I'm going to have to do something about this because I cannot possibly tolerate this. So, I think we're going to have to take it apart carefully and uh, investigate. Right, okay, well we've taken it apart carefully and uh, there's the culprit here this 40 millimeter fan uh, and you can see on the chips here some heat sinks and you can see these rather nice little transformer blocks um, 24 transformers in six blocks of four and look what we've got here we've even got two optical transceiver housings small switch mode power supply not terribly interesting okay so here's the culprit there's the fan there's the fan header so the way we're going to reduce the voltage is simply by putting a resistance into the circuit. So this is a 5 volt fan rated at 160 milliamps. You probably can't read that there. Never mind. So a resistance of about 10 or 15 ohms should drop the voltage by a decent margin and cut the speed down. So what I've done, here's one I prepared earlier. I've prepared this little resistance module. So this is just a bit of strip board with three 3.3 ohm resistors and a fan header and it's connected to a female fan header. So all we're going to do is we're just going to splice it in like this. Pull this out, plug in the uh, new header and plug the fan into this one. But there is the new header installed, um, 5 volt supply from the motherboard coming in there, resistors, and then there's the hat fan header uh, for the fan. So we're just going to test that, but there are some sticky adhesive pads on the bottom which we'll use to stick it into the chassis. Okay, that's the uh, switch running. Now, I've been very naughty and I've energised the uh, power supply, connected it to the mains uh, without any covers on whatsoever. So it's just rather dangerous, don't do this at home. But I don't know if you can hear that fan is now running at a much more sensible speed and uh, is much more tolerable. It doesn't have that awful whining sound that it did before. Now, hopefully, this should keep it cool. Well, in fact, I know it will because I've actually tested it without the fan. And the heat sinks, while they get very hot to the touch, um, don't reach um, stupid temperatures. They, they are touchable at all times, even when the switch is quite heavily loaded. So this reduced fan speed should be satisfactory. Don't forget that this will not be going in the rack. This will be going um, on a shelf and will be quite ventil well ventilated. So uh, overall the conditions should be satisfactory. So there you have it. The new silenced Netgear 24 port gigabit switch GS724 V3. And uh, just got uh, four things plugged in at the moment. A few... Uh, standard uh, Cat5 cables and uh, the multi-mode fibre because this thing has got two ports for uh, SFP modules like we saw in the other slot and they just drop in into the uh, optical slot module like so. Now we'll pop the dust cover back on. There you go. So my fancy new network switch seems to work quite nicely.